Welcome to the evolution and future of our life's purpose and mission. And this is a mini info masterclass. And I am Majesty Allie Nicole Wow, and I am looking forward to bringing this mini info masterclass to you today. I encourage you to take notes, even though this will go by fairly quickly, but you're certainly going to want to jot down some of the wisdom and insights that I'm going to be providing. Maybe you'll get a few ahas but I'm excited to share this with you. So the evolution and future of our life's purpose uh, and mission, this is such a critical time to really know about this and to look at your life in a very different way, right? This is about opening you up and helping you to shift perspectives really from going from a caterpillar view of purpose into a more expansive evolutionary butterfly um, vantage point, right? So I want to jump right into talking about the evolution. And actually, I'll have to backtrack a little bit to talk about how the traditional life's purposes have been presented to us and what we've been following for quite some time, which was good for its time. But we actually are 50, a minimum of 50 years behind in evolution. So everything that you see in this world that even looks like it is, you know, the newer progression and cutting edge, leading edge, so to speak, it is actually behind even an innovative um, expression, so to speak. And so when we haven't had a unique metamorphosis in a human experience, which is something that I teach is one of my my signature um, works in terms of the new human metamorphosis experience and how we evolve in a very uncommon way. And one of the reasons why, as it relates to our life's purpose and mission, that we have fallen behind is because we've never really entered into the chrysalis factor, the cocoon factor to become a new creation. We've been creating new and improved, even with purposes. It's new and improved, which ultimately is really just a bigger caterpillar. And it pales in comparison to the life that we are here to live and the purposes that we're here to express. And so uh, in the Bible, it talks about the greater works that we are here to do. And that's one of my more expansive works, the greater a Wow Works um, Institute and being able to reach your new human divine potential. And within this experience is the evolution of our purposes and just our lives in general. We are purposed beings. We, we are on purpose. You're either on purpose in some way. It could be you know, a very positive way, it could be a negative way, but you are being on purpose by intention. And when we lack living intentionally, because actually we are living intentionally, whether we think we are or not, there's a old saying that the pathway to hell is paved with good intentions, right? People intend to do something. Um, and even in their best efforts to do it, they may not be really being successful. It, maybe it's not as ef- effective as it could be. And believe it or not, our purposes are like that too. We are either intentionally purposing to do something or we are intentionally not. You know, inaction is still, or indecisiveness is still a decision, as they say. And no action actually is still an action in a sense because it has an effect, right? So, I lay the foundation with this because it's important. It will help you to understand too why in fact we are still so behind as it relates to our life's purposes, right? So understanding foundationally that we are purpose and I have works around this, that I am purpose. If I crack an egg, I'm bringing purpose to something. I'm sitting on a chair. I am bringing purpose to what was someone else's purpose. There is a purpose. We are purpose-filled beings, right? Purpose-filled beings. And as Rick Warren had, you know, the popular publication, um, you know, Purpose-Driven Life, you know, that was about really being intentional uh, about having a purpose-driven life for God, so to speak. And in just a general 
perspective. Um, no religious, you know, attachments to it or anything, just general is that we are purpose beings. And some people are intentionally driven by hate. Some are purposely driven by love. It is all with intention, but it's just really the right intention and being able to move the evolution, uh, excuse me, evolution forward with that. All right. So that's just foundational. So now let me start talking about your actual life's purpose. When we look at life's purpose, a lot of times we look at a specific area, a mission that we feel called to. And we felt like this is my life's purpose and my journey prepared me for this you know, specific area. And now this is what I'm, I'm committed to for the rest of my life of being able to share about this area and teach on this, you know, this specific area or so. And then people build brands and they build movements and missions around that, that keep them very much tied and grounded to the what wasness of them versus the what isness of them. And even when they try to bring forth something newer, there's still so much attachment to the old, even as a foundation. But in the evolution, we start to have a new jump off point in terms of what our life's purposes are and being able to cohesively leverage the whole of your life as a purpose and a mission. Now, if you don't know much about my brandy, I'm a cross-functional authority and I'm cross-trained in over 200 areas. I've published over 300 works on Amazon and have created over a thousand online platforms and I have diversified using my life as a niche and doing what I call disruptive living with life anomics and leveraging the whole of life as an expression, a purposed expression. That is my, my mission to use the whole of me. Okay. And to demonstrate that, that's the evolution of my unique encoding. Now for everyone, that's not going to be what they are called to do. But we are here to demonstrate multifacetedness of who we are. There are different areas that need to be expressed. Some of them will be majors and some of them will be minors, but they play a huge contribution into the evolution of this world. All right. So just think for yourself, if you felt called to something and that's what you've been doing, you feel that this is my life's work and I'm doing this until I'm expiring. Think about how limiting that is, especially if it is just in one area, or even two areas. There's so much more to who you are. So when you are really in caterpillar mode, because that's what it is, is that a conception of an idea in terms of your life purpose was presented to you, but the journey was meant to evolve you. So anything that you received in what I call as a conceptual idea of what your life purpose or what you feel called to do is more like an acorn. But the acorn has the encoding of an oak tree. And the process is that you plant the acorn and it cracks open and then the evolution starts. A lot of times that's not what's been happening in our purposes. Our purposes is that you receive something and then you grow it kind of in a linear way um, or what I call a longitudinal, but not latitude. It's not both. It's not an expansive way for you to be both grounded and ascended, all right? Um, and, and branch out, if you will, every pun intended, <laughs> um, from an oak tree. Or again, even when a caterpillar is born, it has the encoding of a butterfly. But for various reasons, most caterpillars don't make it into that butterfly state because they either expire as caterpillars, or they enter into the cocoon, the chrysalis, and they don't make it through the process. And our purposes in this world have been very much that. They've been very much limited. And people are having these journeys, and then they're thinking, this is what I come back and give to the world. I come back and share this. Well, you do, but that's not the whole of your purpose. And if it's something that took you a long time to get through and to come through that type of challenge and then ultimately you feel like here's what I'm ready to bring to the world I'm going to just say to you that is actually not your life's mission and purpose that is what you 
share with the world in some type of product or publication, so to speak, is actually not what you start to build your life's purpose around. But that's what's been happening over the years is that people keep themselves in a purpose that keeps regurgitating the old story. And they're not really in their full new without still being somewhat attached to that old story as a foundation. And in my new creation, um, human metamorphosis process, I teach about being able to have new fundamentals for life, laying new foundations, new having new formations and new functionalities in life and being able to show up in a very different way with your life purpose. And all of life is a purpose. And life calls you to be what it is that you need to be at any given time. And you can be cross-functional in that way. But when you are bent, not bent, I should say, but when you are confined to, this is my mission, this is my purpose. Again, it helps you to understand why our world is so behind and why no matter what the innovations happen, take place or what we think progression is in certain movements, we still see that there's no real evolution taking place. We keep looping around in the same thing, fighting the same battles, just kind of new and improving different strategies and methods to make things better, but ultimately not changing and evolving or transforming, if you will, a, a situation. As long as we are in the behind uh, the state of being behind an evolution there will always be world hunger that we're trying to you know all these different problems we're trying to solve because we haven't learned how to become solution catalysts and we're just firefighters putting out problems and that's the way we've been conditioned for our purposes that we need to be solving problems in this world that we have to continuously be doing this to make the world a better place um, but again, as we see, there's been a lot that has happened and changed in history and great changes have been made. But when you look out, we still are facing racism um, at an all time high, even with all the movements and civil rights and different progressions. Right. And business or so things have improved, but then they also come with these improvements have come with a major price. We go to a pretty much dominant digital world. And then that's a good thing in terms of the internet has made the world a lot smaller so and more expansive so that we can connect and we can do things that we weren't able to do before. But then it, at the same time, it consumes people. So there's a lot of different dynamics and a lot of stuff is taking place because again, our purposes have not evolved. We're just, I, I figured this out in life and now I'm going to help people do this. Well, maybe you do that for a season, but maybe there's so much more that wants to come forth. So much more that's ready to take place. But how do you get into that? How do you get into the butterfly and beyond the cocoon if you actually haven't had a true evolutionary metamorphosis process? transformation process of caterpillar to a butterfly that's not cutting it that really is again giving us the illusion that we've had some type of metamorphosis but ultimately that has not produced evolution evolution will produce a completely different entity of being which will live a different type of life a different type of expression different type of purpose and mission how you show up in the world all right a caterpillar doesn't go back and teach, I mean, a butterfly doesn't go back and teach other caterpillars how to become butterflies. It goes on to live a butterfly life. All right. And so some of you are thinking, well, that's kind of cruel. We need to go back and to, to teach people how to do what we've done. Yes, but it is the way that you do it. And regardless of whether people want to call themselves entrepreneurs or be an entrepreneur or not, Pretty much everyone's going to have to step into that type of role in some format in terms of being able to produce products that help individuals in those states and then be able to now bring your purpose to the world in a very unique way that is leveraging really the whole of who you are, all right? That's why I teach cross-functionality 
within pretty much every structure, cohesive, you know, corporations in the sense of self and that being transferred or translated in a sense to multiple ways of beingness, which is actually a very more simplified way of existing than if you are trying to focus in on a key thing. We think simplicity in the less is more is is that, um, you know, you do one thing and then let that be the thing. And that's a very simple way. But that's very constricting to how you live. And especially from a career perspective, if you have one focus, then you are limited to the diversification that is going to be required moving forward. So in the evolution of who we are, which I get into this in more extensive in other trainings, um, but understanding that you are here for so much more and that what your journey has been, that is that was the caterpillar of you, that was the breakdown, but what has formed is something different. What has formed is something unique and different. Your purpose has changed. And it's definitely going to be more expansive, all right? It's definitely going to be more expansive. So I want to talk a little bit about the the butterfly, that process, the chrysalis process really quick. Right? And um, you know, I'll link different products and things that, that surround this context as well. But our purpose, even in our finances, everything, everything starts to go through this evolutionary process in a very uncommon metamorphosis, Okay. So when a caterpillar breaks down, it becomes unformed and it's forming into something new. It's shedding away old data from that life and it's reformatting into a completely different new expression. Once that caterpillar was no longer a caterpillar, once the formation comes into a butterfly expression, when that butterfly launches from the cocoon, it actually doesn't launch right away. It's attached to the chrysalis for a few hours or sometimes longer because it's building up to get acclimated to a new environment being outside and so i tell people that when you have birthed something new and it's launching in your life a certain way you know that's your time where you're still attached to the cocoon and you're acclimating to something new but when you get ready to go and soar that starts the new life so once you come out of something, yes, can you used to teach people certain things and I just say put them into products, you know, for sure. Teach them that, yes. But your next level of purpose is not what the cocoon experience was. It's not what your former life was. I'm sorry to break that to you. I am and I'm not. It's the truth. That's, that's not it. So you have a short window where you're executing what was the, you know, what that journey all entailed in a sense, because you think like, well, I did all this work and went through this. I certainly, this is a big major part of my life, right? Um, no, not in the grander context, but that's how we've been taught in our life's purpose. I have a mission. I go to school for this and then I come out and I do this. And, and in that case, and sometimes you do do that and you serve in that for for some years or so how however or you go to the next innovation innovation of that you know so there's kind of a lot around this it's just that our purposes are evolving and we have to be very sensitive to that that they're multi-dimensional and not in an esoterical way meaning even if you went to school to be a doctor and you feel that that's still your calling but there's also different levels and layers within even that profession that you could be able to serve in. But there are also other areas of your life that are wanting to be expressed. And that's why people, believe it or not, are so unfulfilled, even now in purposes that they felt once fulfilled in. We're ever forever changing. But in this evolution, what you'll find is that, yes, the, the journey of your life a certain way is not the butterfly. Now you want to get into what is the butterfly? Because what's going to start to happen is these purposes that we've been accustomed to, they're going to start breaking down. They're going to start decomposing. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you're abandoning all of this altogether. It's just that it will come into its more truer evolutionary state of how it is supposed to be used and, and leveraged um, in a new world that's 
forming, all right? So again, these are the things that we've been behind in. So our missions and movements of how we built monuments around certain things, a lot of those things are going to be breaking down and new purposes are going to emerge. New human potential of how we're supposed to be living, that is what you're going to see start to happen. So this mini masterclass is really just an info um, training in a sense. It's just to really inform you, to give you food for thought so that you can start to understand your life better also start to understand what's emerging and what is the future going to really look like and crystallize itself into um, once you start to go through this evolutionary process because the world at large is going to be going through this so that how we show up, how we live out is going to change tremendously and significantly. It has to. If we want to see quote unquote, not just improvement in certain areas. If we want to see a new creation and we really want to see world hunger change or stop um, and violence or different things, then we are going to have to catch up with the evolution in terms of what are going to be the new methodologies moving forward and how do we live on purpose and bring purpose to every aspect and area of life so that things can can shift and and evolve. I don't want to just say change, but so that they can evolve into what they're supposed to be, all right? So I hope that this has been informative and you can check within the description for other products and resources and trainings that I have as it relates to this particular area. But this is important for you to understand where the evolution is, is going in terms of what is emerging. The future is not formed, so to speak. You are here to bring form to it, but how you're being in your beingness and coming into a new formation is the only way that you're going to be able to, to form your future anew, but ultimately to play a part of the collective evolution of humanity and how that progresses. So I hope this has been um, empowering and informing, you know, informing to you. And I am wishing you the absolute best as you continue to evolve. Your future is certainly bright, but living with intentionality in the right way, as we opened up with, is what's going to make your future brighter and ultimately the part that you play in the collective embodiment. All right. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Again, check the descriptions. I'm wishing you the absolute best. Take the next 30 days to really explore your life's purpose anew and ask, what is the evolution of my life's purpose? You know, what has been the metamorphosis and what is the evolution and what's ready to be expressed in a purposed, multi-purpose feel life? All right. Again, wishing you all the best. Take care and stay blessed.